Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with Alien Skin Software. In this video, we're going to talk about local adjustments, and we'll show you how to make them in exposure. Localized, or local adjustments, are editing tweaks that are selectively applied to your images. They give you another level of creative control during editing. You can use local adjustments during detailed retouching, like whitening teeth or making the eyes pop, or you can apply any number of exposures presets to precise locations. Local adjustments enable you to transition smoothly into more advanced editing. For example, you could remove a monochrome effect from a single spot in your image. Or you can apply a different preset to the subject and the background. In Exposure, you make local adjustments with the brush tool. It enables you to quickly create selections to apply adjustments. The effects will only apply to the area you designate. Essentially, you brush adjustments onto specific areas of your photos. After you perform brushing, you can seamlessly blend any of the adjustments you make. When making local adjustments, you can take advantage of Exposure's non-destructive workflow. Your edits don't make permanent changes to your photo, so you can experiment with your local adjustments as much as you'd like. Note the black and white mask thumbnail in the Layers panel. This shows you, at a glance, where the effect is being applied and where it is not. The effect is strongest in the white areas and not visible in the black areas. Where the mask is gray, the effect is blended with the original image. Use the sliders for brush size, feather, and flow, or use the mouse wheel, or hold the modifier keys, shift, or command control with the mouse wheel to make adjustments on the fly. Setting brush parameters for numerous brushes can help make brushing faster. For example, you can set up a large brush for subtle adjustments and define a smaller brush for fine-tuning details. At any time, you can adjust the layer opacity to blend each effect in with your image. And that's it for this tutorial. If you're interested in learning more about exposures, layers, and brush tool, check out our non-destructive layers video. If you haven't used the latest version of Exposure, head over to the website for a free trial. Thanks for watching!